السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم إن شاء الله today we will start first lesson of Nurani Qaeda and we will read from Alif to letter Ra and this lesson is good for today and you should practice 25 to 30 minutes these are Arabic alphabets and there are 29th alphabets in Arabic this is Alif 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 you can read after me Alif 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 this is Ba Ba has one dot below the letter Ba Ba you can read after me ba 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 this is ta ta has two dots on the top ta ta you can read after me Ta 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 This is Sa Sa has three dots on the top Sa Sa You should read this letter without whistle sound Do not make whistle in this letter For example if you read Sa this is wrong Read this letter without whistle sound. Let me show you origin of sa. Origin mean is source of letter. These are teeth. These are upper teeth. And this is gum area. This is gum. These are upper teeth. And this is tongue. And this is tip of tongue. This is base of tongue. This is tip of tongue. This is upper front teeth. This is this area is base of teeth. And this is gum. If you touch tip of tongue with edge of upper front teeth you can pronounce letter sa you can read after me sa 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 and remember these three letters have same shape their darts can make difference between these three letters so their darts are very important this is jim jim has one dart in middle jim you feel this letter i read long but previously these letters I read short so don't get confused yourself inshallah in future I will explain you about this Jim you can read after me Jim 
Jim. This is Ha. Ha has clear sound. And origin of Ha is middle of throat. Origin mean is source of letter. Ha. This is Ha. Origin of Ha is upper throat. Ha. This letter pronounced from upper throat. Ha. And read this letter with full sound, heavy sound. Ha. And you can make heavy sound in letters if you raise your tongue to up. Inshallah in future I will explain you more how you can make full sound in letters, heavy sound in letters. But at this time you are a very beginner student. At this time, you just raise your tongue to up and try to make heavy sound in this letter. And you should know difference between these two letters. This is ha. Ha has clear sound. This is ha. This is ha. This is ha. You can read after me. This is ha. 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 This is dal. Dal has no dot. Dal Dal You can read after me Dal Dal This is Dal. Dal has one dot on the top. Dal. Read Dal without whistle sound. If you make whistle in this letter, for example, Zal, this is wrong. Read without whistle sound this letter. Let me show you origin of Dal. And remember, Dal and Tha, both letters have same origin. Origin means is source of letter. I explained you. These are upper teeth, not bottom. These are upper teeth. And this is gum. This is gum area. This is tongue. This is base of tongue. And this is tip of tongue. And this is upper front teeth this is base of teeth and this is gum if you touch tip of tongue with edge of upper front teeth you can pronounce letter dal one more time if you touch tip of tongue with edge of upper front teeth you can pronounce three letters from here sa Dal and wa. Remember these three letters pronounced from here and these three letters have same origin. You can read after me. Dal. 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 This is Ra. Read Ra with heavy sound, full sound. And raise your tongue to up and you can make full sound in this letter. Ra. You can read after me. Ra. 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 I think this lesson is 
enough for today let me repeat one more time alif ba ta sa ji ha clear sound this letter has clear sound ha da da ra sadaqallahul azim